Welcome back to the Rugby Smart Quiz. And we're looking like we're good to go, so let's get stuck in. And good luck. Question one. What does RIST stand for? A. Rest, Ice, Contact, Elevation, Doctor. B. Rest, Ice, Compression, Elevation, Doctor. C. Rest, Ice, Compression, Elevation, Diagnosis. Or D. Run, Ice, Compression, Elevation, Diagnosis. Question two. What is the best way to ice a soft tissue injury? A. Keep the ice on the injury for 60 minutes and then repeat this every two hours for the first 48 hours. B. Keep the ice on the injury for 60 minutes and then repeat this every four hours for the first 24 hours. C. Keep the ice on the injury for 20 minutes and then repeat this every two hours for the first 48 hours. D. Keep the ice on the injury for 20 minutes and then repeat this every four hours for the first 24 hours. Question 3. Once the injury has been diagnosed and treated, avoid the harmful factors for 72 hours. Does harm stand for A. Heat, alcohol, running and massage? B. Heat, alcohol, rubbing and massage. C. Heat, alcohol, running and medication. D. Heat, alcohol, running and medication. Warming up is often neglected or misunderstood and ineffectual as a result. But it doesn't have to be. Let's take a look at the right way to do it. My name is Jamie Tout. I'm a fitness advisor for New Zealand Rugby. Today we're looking at the warm-up and the cool-down. The warm-up plays a really important part in our game to get ourselves ready for the games but also in training. It can be broken down into three simple parts. Those phases are the general phase, the transition stage and the sport specific stage where we'll get ready for our game. Not just our games but in training. The way we train must replicate the game. The benefits of the warm-up can include Increase muscle temperature, making sure our blood vessels get larger to carry oxygen around the body, increase range of movement, and there's also a part of it that is mental preparation. Whether it's at grassroots or the elite level, phases will stay the same, but the drills will change. What the guys are working on here now is a straight line speed. We don't jog when we play rugby, we run. It's a game specific drill. Let's see how this one goes. Off we go, guys. Yep, let's make it happen, let's go. There we go, we're on the game now, here we go. We're now starting to move with speed and agility, increasing our intensity, getting the athletes out of the change rooms and getting moving. These drills are things that they can do without you having to be there. Right guys, that's us. For the full coaching session, head to the coaching toolbox. Great. Now, here are a couple of questions to see how well you listened. Question four. Name the phases required in a warm-up. A. General, transition and specific. B. General, static and dynamic. C. Individual, team and positional. D. Individual, team and general.
Question five. What are three benefits of warming up? A. Increased muscle, heart and blood temperature. B. Increased muscle, body and blood temperature. C. Decreased muscle, heart and blood temperature. D. Decreased muscle, body and blood temperature. Question. Which of the following does not require the use of a mouth guard? A. Game. B. Practice. C. Aftermatch. D. Warm up. Question 7. When do you need to get a serious injury report form to your provincial union within 48 hours? A. When a player requires any form of treatment from a physio or oculist. B. When a player has any type of injury and has to leave the field. C. When a player has any type of injury, even if they don't leave the field. D. When a player goes directly to hospital or an after-hours medical centre. Question 8. Where do you get a current serious injury report form from? A. You can download a copy from rugbyart.co.nz. B. You can download a copy from coachingtoolbox.co.nz. C. Get one from your local provincial union. D. All of the above. Question 9. How many lineouts are there in a typical game? A. 5, B. 15, C. 25, D. 35. Question 10, and the final question in this section. How much time is the ball typically in play for a typical 80-minute match? A. 38 minutes, B. 48 minutes, C. 58 minutes, D. 68 minutes. Okay, that's a wrap on section two, and now for the answers.